Hey everybody, the manga is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Final Fantasy V Advance, brought to you by Game81.com. Okay, I did a small amount of level grinding, not too much. Probably gained like one or two levels since the end of part 1. Unfortunately, I've been mostly running through steel bats in this area. I guess if I go to a new room, I'll just run into different enemies. But in the meantime, I did run across a newer enemy. Ah, Beastier, that's where I want to go. And that enemy's name is Devil Crab. It actually has higher defense than most enemies we've fought so far. Okay, so it's weak against ice and immune to mini. And you can steal a potion if you had the ability to steal. Which we don't. Three monsters we've slain and it's still like 0% of the total monsters in the game. That tells you something. Uh oh. Looks like there's some pirates here. Heh, <laughs> stupid pirate. Not even gonna bother to check. Too lazy to go down the stairs. Oh gee! I wonder what that skull does, dupe! Aha! So that's how you get in. Yep, apparently it's operated by a switch. Ah, here's a new enemy, Stroper. It looks like it's like a kind of plant creature. It's probably based on the uh, monster known as Roper. Maybe it's a strong version of a Roper, aka Stroper. I don't know, you tell me. Ah, nice. Got it in one shot, Lena. I'm impressed. Ooh, a leather cap. Okay, who should get this? Well, everybody's defense is the same. So with that said, I might as well just give this to Barts. What? So what if I'm leaving Lena out? She can do just fine. What's that? Huh, let's go out and see. Okay, apparently there's a pirate ship. That's pretty good. But what if the wind is gone? That ship just now. How is it sailing with the wind so weak? Yes, that's gonna be a little mystery. We'll have to find out later. Let's see. Oh, of course, we gotta deal with some more enemies, as usual. Let's go through here. Same enemies again. Well, at least I should get plenty of experience. That is, I should, considering I haven't run from a fight yet, and I don't plan on running anytime soon. Or at all, for that matter. Ah, good. Okay, so I'm guessing some pirates are gonna be here, derp. Uh-oh. Better stay hidden. Huh, that's how it's done, Snake. Okay, now what's the game plan? This is a pirate hideout! Oh shit. I mean, that ship we saw must have been a pirate ship. I wonder if they would give us a ride. Um, Lena. Um, I think the only ride they'd be interested in would be a keel haul for all three of us. Yeah, you can't ask a favor from a pirate. That's why we'll just sneak on and steal their ship. Rod's like, what? Whoa, you're pretty gutsy for an old timer. Yes, let's have a big conversation while we're sneaking in. Okay, that shit, that switch is actually irrelevant, but I'm just letting you know it's there. We'll come back to that later. 
Huh? Sleeping. Yep, those pirates are useless and lazy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, I better move. Look at that! That is just so lazy! Could have easily spotted us. I guess I'll just steal the ship. They won't suspect a thing. Let's see what other places there are in this place. Or in the ship. It's locked. Okay, so we can't go in there. What about in here? <sighs> Captain, fix the rudder. Take the helm. Sildra. Sildra? Huh, who is this Sildra? I guess we'll find out later. That said... I think now would be the time to commandeer the ship. To do that, well, you need the steering wheel. Yo ho ho and stuff. Time to cast off. Oh, this guy has one skilled sailor. Yo ho ho and stuff. <laughs> well, cast off means start sailing, kid. I know that. The wheel won't even budge. How do you work this thing? Try working anything, and there'll be the devil to pay! But... Oh crap. Oh god, purple-haired person out to get us. Trying to steal my ship, are you? You've a lot of brass. Or mayhap you're just lacking in brains. I'd wager it's the latter. Uh, wanna bet it's the former? Because I can bet on that, and I'd win. Wait! I am Princess Lena of Tycoon! Please accept my apologies for attempting to commandeer your ship. Um, yeah, tell the pirates that it's the princess. Good idea. What? Princess? Of Tycoon? Sir, this is a formal request from the Kingdom of Tycoon. Please, allow us the use of your vessel. I must get to the Wind Shrine. My father is in danger. Yes, telling pirates that, yeah, that, that's gonna work really well. Oh, the Princess of Tycoon here on my ship? I'm sure we could fetch a good price for this one. Hey, leave her alone, you degenerate, lecherous, piratey pirate. Yeah, you really hit the nail on the head there, Burks. He's a piratey pirate, all right. I beg of you, please! Glowing blue light of justice. That pendant. Hmm, looks like Ferris is thinking of something. Toss a lot of them into the brig. Aye, aye, Captain. Alright, guess we're now a prisoner. Yeah, nice job there, Lena. Three hours later... Or... Is it 17? I don't remember. Somewhere in between. Well, this is a fine how do you do? What genius came up with the idea to steal a pirate ship anyway? Look in the mirror, Pops! Oh, my aching head. I can't remember a thing. And your amnesia oh so conveniently returns. Still. I can't believe you're really the Princess of Tycoon, Lena. I'm sorry. I didn't intend to keep it a secret. Yeah, you didn't intend to tell us either, duh. It's not that big a deal. But if you're the princess, why were you going to the Wind Shrine all alone? My father is there. He hadn't been gone long when the wind slowed to almost nothing. I just can't shake the feeling that something terrible is happening. I slipped out alone to head to the shrine, but then that meteor fell in... You know the rest. Yeah, basically you almost got raped by goblins and I saved you and I didn't get any laid. Get laid. Therefore you owe me, bitch. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fall asleep standing up. Good idea. Meanwhile, over to the right and Ferris is drinking some Clamato. I believe that's what pirates drink at this time. I don't know. You tell me. If you're a pirate, hit me up. 
Why does the Princess of Tycoon have the same pendant as I do? What? You think they got him at the same dollar store? She said her father is at the Wind Shrine. Well, looks like we're getting a little bit of a backstory. How did those two get the same pendant? Prepare to cast off, lads. Set a course for the Wind Shrine. And the part's like, what? But Captain, what about the landlubbers? Untie him. Everyone's like, WTF? I meant sometime today. Oh, okay, I guess. Well, that feels better. But why? I've reconsidered your request. You can go back into the brig if you'd rather. Pull anchor. We sail for the wind shrine. Hey, something wrong with your ears? I hope I don't have to repeat myself. Well? I... Aye, aye, Captain. Those are not pirates, they're pussies. Come on, it's just a shrine of wind. Which, by the way, the wind's not even working. Can we go now? But the wind has stopped! How can the ship move? Full of curiosity, aren't you, lass? Duh, I asked. Sildra, come up and say hello. Sildra? The... Oh, so Sildra is a sea creature, of course. That is why the ship was able to move. If the wind doesn't go, Sildra just tows it. Lena almost shit herself. Beautiful, isn't she? Sildra and I were raised together. We're close as siblings. Hopefully you're not actually siblings, and I question what the hell your mother's been doing with a sea serpent. Alright, everybody get in the Tetris position. Alright, we're off. And they're like, finally! We can go now. Alright, there we go. Oh, Ferris gonna steer. Captain, shall I sail her to the wind shrine for ye? Um Sure, why not? I'm feeling a little lazy. I can steer where I like later on. Okay, so I have to go... Well, I'll see that way. That seems simple enough. Okay, that's the Wind Shrine over here, of course. Because it says Wind Shrine. What are you people doing here? Princess Lena! What's happened? What's the matter? The wind suddenly stopped. And now there are monsters in the shrine. Monsters. What about father? The king went up to the top floor. He has yet to return. I really like the music here. It's pretty catchy. Something must have happened to him. The crystal's up on the top floor, right? Won't hurt to go up and take a look. How do pirates know this stuff? Ferris, come on! The crystal amplification machine suddenly stopped responding. Yeah, that's not good news. Hey! 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 Oh, it was already you I was talking to. Hey! Hey! The crystal upstairs is controlled by a machine that amplifies its power. And nobody's in the mood to talk to me, apparently. Princess, please take these with you. Um, I'm not princess. Oh, you mean Lena. Five potions? Okay. Drink this water to restore your energy. 
Oh, well, I'm already at full health, but if I want to restore my health any time, I just go over here. Um, do I want to go through the Wind Shrine yet? Why don't I save that for later, and instead head for the next town? I don't remember where the town is. Where is Tool? It's probably south of here. I knew it was right by the meteor, like on the opposite side of it. Yeah, that way it just takes you back to the pirate area. So with that said, I'm pretty sure Tool is around here. Oops. Okay, I just ran into some new enemies. Killer B is, well, the newer enemy. Goblin is not, however. Oh well, it's just a good spot for experience. I just wish I had a map, but I don't get one until later. Okay, so it wasn't on this little strip of land. Oh well. But I know you can get to Tool before you get to the Wind Shrine. That's a given. Ferris gained a level. Good. No. Yep, yep, that, that was definitely it. That's right, I was here before. I keep forgetting that. Just a little bit of exploring, because it's been years since I played this game. I really like it, though. It's good. Wait. Could the town be over here? Ah, yes it is. There's Tool. Grog Grog! What? What the hell is Grog Grog? What are you, orcs? <sighs> Lazy ass. I think I'll stop in and have a drink as well. Good for you. Just remember, we're not giving you all those potions for your liver. You look a little wet behind the ears. How's about I take you to the Greenhorns Club? Okay. Yeah, I reckon so. First, shut your eyes. Can't have just anybody figuring out where it's at. Alright, here we are. Uh, okay. Howdy! I assume you're new to this adventuring thing, right? Well, technically I'm not, but I might as well show the tutorial anyway. Alrighty, then come on in! Okay. So, so yeah, this is basically the tutorial area on how to play the game. The job ability system... Well, I haven't put that to good use yet, so let's listen. This is a unique feature to Final Fantasy V, though it's based on the job system of FF3. The fragments of the Shattered Crystal are imbued with the power of legendary warriors. The four chosen by the crystals are granted use of those powers in the form of jobs. If you played FF3, you would have noticed that. Like every time you find a crystal, you get new powers. Or new jobs. Okay, so if I were to get the first crystal, you'd get these jobs right here. You get a whole lot of options too. It even tells you what kind of weapons you can equip. And then you'd be asked to select an ability. By assigning jobs, the four characters can gain special abilities corresponding to those jobs. So in this case, Bards will be a black mage. Let's look at his abilities. Okay, so you get a whole lot of stuff here. In this case, his job command would be black magic. Focus is actually something you'll learn from a monk if you were to level up that job. Changing jobs and abilities changes the types of armor and weapons a character can equip. Don't worry, characters automatically equip the best gear possible whenever they are assigned a new job. So unlike FF3, you actually get equipped automatically, which is a good thing rather than FF3 you had to remove all your equipment individually. 
well, at least in the NES version. I don't know if it was like that in the DS version, so I never played that version. So yeah, getting through all your equipment and your jobs will take a lot less time, and you don't have to worry about capacity points, like on FF3. By mixing and matching different jobs and abilities, you can create individual types of warriors. Such as a black mage who can use the jump ability, or a knight who can use white magic. Let's use the latter as an example of using the job system. First, we'll set our job to that of a white mage. Okay, let's do that. Unfortunately, it goes a little bit slow. So luckily, you don't have to worry about capacity points like I said before. Therefore, you can switch jobs at any given time. Much like experience points, as battles are won, you will receive ability points known as AVP. With enough ability points, you'll gain the White Mage ability, White. Now let's switch jobs to that of a knight. Next, as an ability, choose white. Your equipment will automatically be optimized to the strongest combination. Now you have successfully created a knight to perform white magic. So that's a good thing about this game. You have infinite ways to set up your characters. Well, limited based on the jobs you have, but you can do it in pretty much any way you so desire. That's the good thing about this game, you can hardly go wrong. So this is all about freedom. So in this case, we have a knight who has a job command guard, but he can also use white magic. Thanks to getting his white mage to level 1. Remember, all your jobs start at level 0. So keep that in mind. Saving the game is something you should do often, then you'll always be able to pick up right where you left off. The character you usually see walking around is the one displayed at the top of the menu screen. Try changing your order, like this. Well, you don't need to worry about order, but you just have to go to left, and you press A to click on it, and then you press A on whatever character you want. There, now Lena's in front. Sorry, but bitch gotta stay in the middle, okay? That's the way it goes. You can harm ghosts in the undead with recovery magic such as Cure. Try putting mages and other folks with less defensive power in the back row. Press left while on the menu screen places the cursor over the characters. Select who you want to move, then press the A button. Now they're safe in the back row. Press the A button again to move them back to the front. Okay, so that's such an example. Okay, looks like we're using Bards as an example. Even though I'd rather Lena, but that's up to you. In this case, nobody's a mage. Like, nobody's any job. Therefore, there's no reason to go to the back row yet. If your hair suddenly turns white, that means you're aging, and you'll gradually weaken. Oh, yeah, you should know from experience, Pops. Excuse me. Keep an eye out for secret passages. For example, try walking through the wall to my left. Thieves can learn the ability to find passages, then they can see secret passages with no trouble at all. Really? Okay, so if I get the thief job, I can easily see these passages. Oh, I got an ether. Get a potion, and a phoenix down. Urns and chests like these sometimes have goodies inside. Why don't you try having a look-see? Um, okay. Ah, I got 100 gil. Okay, perfect. I need a tent. Ah, on the second floor. You've probably noticed that those numbers that pop up during battle. The white numbers are damage dealt, and the green ones are hit points regained. Duh. Hold down the L and R buttons while in battle, and you can try to escape. But look out, not all enemies will let you go. When your hit points begin running low, use a potion or white magic such as Cure to restore them. Okay, now that's getting way beyond beginner stuff. Wait mode. In the config menu, there is a setting called Wait. If you switch your battles to Wait mode, 
The battle will pause while you are in the magic or item win windows, allowing you to take your time selecting them. And then there's active mode, which is pretty much the opposite. Inside this chest is a present for me. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, what the? Oh, that wasn't sweet at all. Of course, ever since Final Fantasy II, they bring in the whole monster in the box thing. But I get let the shoes out of it. Let the shoes, yeah. I think I'll give it to Lena this time. Fashionable and comfy. Okay, let's say I unequip it. Did it really have anything special? Okay, so my equip weight goes up. And my magic defense and physical defense go up. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Sometimes monsters hide in treasure chests. From now on, be careful. Screw you. I was about to tell you a couple more useful abilities. Two-handed. With this ability, when you have one hand carrying a weapon and the other hand empty, your attack doubles. Basically, you're using a one-handed weapon with two hands, so you can attack with a more powerful swing. Sprint. So long as one person in your party has sprint, you can hold down the B button to run through towns and dungeons. Just have someone in your party become a thief and you're set. Blue magic and learning. Okay, so blue magic is kind of a new feature in FF5. Blue magic is the art of learning monsters' special techniques. However, to learn them, you'll need to set the blue mage ability learning and then get hit by the enemy attack. And also, if it's a status ailment, it has to connect. If it hits and you're immune to it, not gonna work. Only then can you remember it and use it against others. To use the technique, use the blue mage ability blue magic. You can learn attacks like a goblin's goblin punch, a steel bad's vampire, or a moldwind's arrow. Those are such examples. In other words, like blue magic has been quite popular in other Final Fantasy games too, like 5, 6, and 9 as well. I think it's been in other games, too. Yeah, I did stop by. Have a good day, woman. I'm trying to be a bird. Listen to this. Long, long ago, in the canal to the east, a big old ugly monster was having a feast. It ate lots of people, 53 at least, but the good guys used a crystal and steal the beast. Oh, yeah! My granddad said he's sorry he told me the story, but you guys liked it, right? Aw, you told a story about your mom. That's so romantic. Um, oh, so as soon as you leave, Ferris leaves too. Oh, trying to give me the slip? I think not. Eh, don't worry, I just plan to save the game. I'll be heading back to Tool later just to do some other stuff. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here, and next part we'll go back to Tool, and when we're done there, head for the Wind Shrine. So goodbye, everyone.